the Lord uh, spoke prolifically this morning in my spirit. And I want you to take heed. Like I say, this word may not be for everybody. If it's for you, you will know because it's going to hit your spirit. Or this is getting ready to come at you. Or are you in it right now? God is getting ready to have you say no. Say no. <laughs> it's simple as that. The reason why God is tr having you in a season of saying no, because you are an individual, you've always said yes. Yes, I help you do that. Yes, I can give you that money. Yes, I can loan you here. Yes, I can bring you here. Yes, I can do this for you. And you are crippling people, certain people that we, we, we tend because we love them and we want to always help somebody. We always want to run and do this and be Superman and Superwoman for some people. And God is saying, but did you ask me about this? See, understand, it's one thing that something is a good thing, but you have to have discernment. Is it a God thing? Did the Lord tell you to do that? Because you don't know the person that you're constantly trying to run and help, are they really helping themselves? Or God could be bringing them to a bringing them to a breakdown for a breakthrough, so He can build them up from being enabled by people and helping them stand on their own two feet. And here we go with our cape on, being Superman and Superwoman. And God never told you to do that. We run and do, th do, do things through flesh and not the spirit. And it's just like disobedience. If God said, let me tell you something. The worst thing you can do for somebody is enable an individual. Because they grow up to be sorry adults or they already sorry adults. I just got to speak the truth. I got to speak it like it is. You know why? Because we have babysat them long enough. They have been on our breasts so long on milk and never going into food. They still on milk. They 40, 50, 60, 60 years old still on breast milk. Because they always know, if I don't do it, they'll take care of it. They'll do this. I can call mama. I can call daddy. I can call my sister. I can call my brother. What about calling on the Lord? What about them? Instead of, can you pray for me? Can you pray for me? Can you pray for me? Can you do? Let them get to the end of themselves and fall on their knees. God is no respect of persons. The way you hear my prayers, the way you hear your prayers is the same way you'll hear their prayers. We cannot save everybody. And for some of you, God will, will you'll get hit. Because if God didn't tell you to help that individual, what are you doing? Is it a good thing or is it a God thing? This is a season he's going to have you to tell people no or you already have started to. Because God is working in you. Because he's sick and tired of people using you. Or... He don't want you to help that individual because he's doing something in that individual that needs to be done. Well, the only place they can run to is him. And we, with our cape on, jumping in the way. Come on. I know I, I, I'm, hitting, I'm, I'm, I'm on something this morning. We want to save so-and-so. I don't even care if they're in the church. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord, not us. Not us. There's nothing wrong with helping people. But ask yourself this. Am I a crutch? Am I crutches? And if your crutches, consistent crutches for somebody, how are you helping them? When will they learn to crawl into walking, into running? They don't have to because they know you coming. You have to, this is a season. God is growing you up away from manipulators. Away from people that they expect you to come save them because that's what you used to doing. Let people grow up and you grow up at the same time. They can be distractions. And this season, this is a season. God is moving individuals by speed. 
you can't mix. The devil know who to bring in your atmosphere at the right time because he know what's coming to you. But he also know your weaknesses. And your weakness could be you love to help people. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that. Of course, that's what we're supposed to do. But the word also say, don't throw your pearls to swine. Know who you are helping. Wisdom. Wisdom. Because a lot, some of these people you are helping, they know how to manipulate you. Play on you. And you allowed it. <coughs> Excuse me. You've allowed it. They they have mastered you so long, they know what buttons to push. They know how to, they know your whole makeup. Because you never change, you never shift. It's time that you break out of the old and enter the new. Learn how to say no. And when you say no, you don't have to, let me tell you something. Stop explaining yourself to people. Stop explaining. We don't have to explain our no to anyone. Let your yes be yes and your no be no to certain individuals. Because stop being used and manipulated by different people for a different reason. For a different reason. For a different reason. Know who you are in God in Christ. Know who you are in God, in Christ. You are a new creature in Christ. All of things have passed away. Let your yes be yes, your no be no. Stop explaining. You don't have to explain to anybody. When God tells, say, loose a word and tell you don't touch it, just don't do it. If he tell you to loose it, loose it. If he tell you, I didn't tell you to help that individual, where you going? He'll stop you in your tracks because he's doing a new thing in you. God bless you. Remember, this is the time to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Not your flesh. It's time to grow up because we are moving in God. Stop explaining. Learn to say no. Wisdom. Ear to hear. Because God is never going to lead you long. And this is a season you will not be manipulated by anyone anymore. God bless you.